it's easy to declare and say that um, you love your family, your kids, and your wife. Of course, who wouldn't say that? But if you truly do, demonstrate it. Now, you might think that maybe he does not know that things are hard. I do. We all live here. But we can always find a way around it. You see, no matter how hard things become, if you make it part of your plan, you will do it. You see, the family unit is something very, very important that ought to be taken very, very seriously, especially the financial life of a family. Now, um... The question I want to ask is this, what preparation do we have for our family as regarding finance? Now, get it straight. Let's get it straight. Things happen. Emergencies happen. And it can take any form. Even if, if emergency does not happen, should something happen to the sole provider in the family, the breadwinner as it is called, what happens to the rest of the family? I have seen too many families that um, went bankrupt because the sole provider is no more or is out of job. So isn't this, and I, I am sure you probably have witnessed one. Now, it's easy for us to see these things and tell ourselves, God forbid, of course, nobody prays for something uh, bad. We all pray that we, we live and build our family until the very end. But life happens. And when it does, what do you do? What do you do when life happens? That is my question to you. Will you allow your family to be thrown into confusion? Sometimes the family become confused because they may have to go and start from the scratch again. This is a wake-up call to every one of us who is the head of a family and are actively doing something and making money. Consider putting something aside for yourself and for your family. It could be in, in the form of property. It could be in the form of investments that your family or at least your wife know about should anything happen. It can be something like insurance, yes, or property or assets. Something you or your family can always fall back on, something they can depend on, something you, even you, can depend on should anything happen and you lose your job or you want to change job and it's taking time for you to pick up. You can always rely on what you have kept aside, at least for that period of time. If you lose that job you're doing now or should that business crash, do you even have a saving that's worth taking care of your expenses for the next, let's say, six months without work or at least four months? 
these are questions that one needs to ask his or herself and have them addressed as quickly as possible because we are human and as long as we continue to live somehow some things will happen that will require us to spend beyond what we earn some things may happen and we will not be there to attend to them like we always do. But if we have something set aside, you or your family can always run there to take cover. So I am not talking business as usual. I'm asking you to consider something, an aspect of your life that is very, very important. If it means that you sit down and have a discussion with your spouse or your children or your family generally so you can start up something, then do it. For crying out loud, it is for you and your family. And it is part of love that you do that for them. The love we proclaim may not be complete if we do not also take care of that time when we will not be available to show and demonstrate that love. How would you feel if someone you love and cater for becomes a beggar just because you are no more? i like you to think about this. If you like me to make an, a, a video on something that borders on family finance, please comment below and I will gladly do it. Thank you for watching.